Hello world, this is Grant with GFAM. We're coming at you today to talk to you about a topic that some of you might be wondering about. Traveling with your family is cool, but sometimes you ever wish you could bring along the rest of your family? Well, we have five tips to teach you how to make that achievable. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so one of the things we love to do most while we are out traveling with our dog is to try to take her on as many outings as possible. That way she's not stuck at home. All right, so another helpful tip when traveling with your dog is to always have water handy. When you're traveling throughout the States, and you want to reach over and grab a sip of water, I'm sure that your dog wants to sip some water. But it's kind of hard for him to drink, he or she to drink out of a bottle of water. So my wife and I went to the store and got one of these nifty things. Now I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with it, but it's simply, it's very easy. You could either fill this container up or you can take this one and, and literally screw it right into the cap. And what it is, there's a rubber nipple down there and as you squeeze the water fills up this reservoir and the dog is able to drink out of it small quantities easy to manage and then when you're done you just take it and i literally throw the backwash out the window but nevertheless and then you just put the cap back on it or the the empty bottle back on you can keep it filled or not and we just tuck it in our center console and anytime that we want to drink she gets a drink and everybody's happy we have for traveling with a dog is on a travel day to make sure the animal has airflow. Um, our dog is 50 pounds and it has separation anxiety when we leave it uncomfortable and to her that's without our house set up. We are unable to leave the windows open but we definitely make sure we open our air vents on the top of the house. Um, so that way any extra heat that she might be producing is letting out. Another option is if you have an onboard generator, definitely if you're comfortable with turning that on and leaving it, feel free to do that. With our rig, we do not have capability. We don't have an onboard generator, so we have to pull out our cord and hook it up and it's a process. The other thing we do is make sure that she has water accessible for her nice cold water sometimes we'll throw in some ice cubes if it's an extra hot day um, we do not leave her food down because our little pup likes to throw a fit and spill the food bottle every or the food container everywhere but that's an option as well if it's something that you think your animal may need all right, in the last tip, we mentioned that our dog has separation anxiety when we're away from the house. So the biggest accommodation that we've made for her is to get her a companion while we are gone. It helps to calm her nerves and to let her know that she's not alone. Okay, this tip goes for cats or dogs. Either way, you're definitely gonna need it. This is our home binder that we have. And I have a little tab in here for animals. And underneath the animals, is their paperwork for each animal for our cat and for our dog so you definitely need these not too often do the um rv resorts ask you for it but believe me if you don't have it and they ask it's not a sight you want to see because you'll be going bye bye all right, so a bonus tip for traveling with a dog is to always keep one of these handy. It's just a little carrier that has disposable bags for the dog waste. Um, naturally, I literally keep it clipped on the leash at all times, so no matter what, uh, we always have a bag with us. Um, we usually keep the leash in the truck during travel days, and then I have a hook right next to my door, so anytime I'm stepping out the door, always have the leash, always have waste bags. Environment is happy. 
I hope you guys like this video, our five tips on how to travel with your doggy. Please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss a video. If you have any video ideas on things that you would like to know about traveling, please put them down below in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful day.